Hi, this is John Brock with Brockworks. Now, if you're a builder, especially a custom builder, remodeler, or interior designer, you know that there are literally hundreds of items and products and selections that have to be made in a given project, right? So take, for example, this master bathroom in the SketchUp model. There's paint color. There's three different types of tile in there, the flooring, the shower floor, the wall tile. There's a mixer. There's, there's uh, body sprays. There's a valve. Uh, there's, you know, a faucet. There is a sluter shelf in there, a drain, you got towel bars, you've got soaking tub and faucet, a toilet, a toilet paper holder, there's a vanity, you've got a countertop, you've got a faucet and a sink, and you've got a mirror and a vanity light and a towel ring, paint color on the walls. There's a lot of stuff you have to track, right? So what, what we're doing now is introducing Spaces, which is a new extension that we're developing right now. It's called Spaces because exterior areas like decks it's not really a room, but you have decking, both the product and the color choice and railings and so forth that need to be tracked. So this is meant to be an all-inclusive extension to track your products. So check out spaces here. So in this case, you have a project name, which we're just calling an example. Uh, we have the main level here, which of course I imported the floor plan into SketchUp using PDF Importer, which is again, one of our extensions. And it comes into scale. This was a quarter inch scale drawing. And then literally I add a level down here with this plus button in here, add the level and then trace around the perimeter of finished square footage, unfinished square footage, garages. And in this case, we've got 2567 square feet of finished space on this level, 612 square foot garage. We can use those in our calculations, right? Also added this master bathroom in here. So that's been traced. So that's why it's sort of highlighted there when I hover over it. And that's 153 square feet and 15 and a half foot perimeter there. Okay. So here's all the products that we have in here. There's, this is the power of this, is that you can actually track. These are all the SketchUp products that we have in, so which I consider those placeholders until the client actually selects the final product, okay? So we've got all these products in here that are in by cost code and the status of needing selection. Here's the real power of this is this traffic light dashboard that you have. You can see here that we have 25 items that need to be selected. Nothing selected yet, right? We have there. The goal is to get it all the way to the green, right? So it needs to be selected. It needs to be ordered in a timely fashion. It needs to be received and, of course, installed. Um, so another really cool feature of this is it automatically will create a storyboard. If you're an interior designer and you've had to create storyboards of putting this swatches of this together and putting it in PowerPoint or some other presentation, forget that. This is done for you automatically on a room-by-room -room basis, right? So at any time I can print out a storyboard. It's got six uh, thumbnail images to a page with descriptions. And this again is automatically created for you. So you don't have to make it up, all right? So we'll go in a little bit deeper on the dive here. We've got settings here. So this is where you can actually, uh, you can go to settings. You can import your own cost codes CSV file if you want to keep things organized per your cost codes. You don't have to. It can just be simple categories like flooring or fixtures, plumbing fixtures, lighting fixtures. I like to keep things tracked by my cost codes. And it will also put all these thumbnail images into a folder so it's not part of the SketchUp file. It's in a separate folder. All right. All right. So let's take, for example, let's, uh, let's identify some selections so like this toilet. Let's say that they've made a decision on this toilet. We're going to edit this toilet here. And I'm going to go to the website for this toilet that they selected, okay? And I'm going to just simply select this from the website and just come in here to the description and paste that in, okay? And it is a Kevin uh, Devonshire toilet, all right? And it's in the master bathroom. It knows it's in that space. Let's say that they've added it in other spaces. If you had other bathrooms in here and you wanted to take that same toilet and put it, you can just simply add it to the additional spaces. Right now, we only have the master bathroom identified. All right, the URL. I could come in here and take that URL, copy that, paste it in the URL so that we've got the link to that toilet. Right now, I'm gonna change this to selected. I could come in here and add images. I could add specs, I could add uh, a variety of other files if I needed to. Right now, I'm just gonna change this th thumbnail image to a local file that I actually have um, under this products that I've already clipped that and saved that. So I'm gonna just call that to toilet. So now we have the thumbnail image of it and I'm gonna update it, okay? Okay, so now if we go over to selected, you'll see that's where the toilet has been moved over to because it's in the selected. If I go to all items, 
it's back in the list. Okay, but now I can see what's been selected. All right, so let's go back into the needing selections and let's see what else did I throw in there. Let's do this undermount sink. So we've got this brazen sink and the color is white, which I should add over into the details. So we'll come back over here and we'll find this undermount sink. And it's not a LaDonna sink, it was brazen, B-R-A-Z-N, uh, undermount sink. I'm gonna paste in the description in here from the website and it was white. So everybody knows what color it's supposed to be. I can then copy this URL. I can change this from it's selected from that to selected. I didn't do the date in there, which I should have done. Today is November 11th where I am. Okay, so that's been selected. Now I'm gonna change the thumbnail image to uh, the local file that I had in there, add local file and I'm gonna choose this sync, okay? So I'm gonna update that. Now we've got two things over in the selected category, okay? So you get the idea, you're able to add thumbnail images of the actual product and track these things, which is freaking awesome, and create a storyboard. So uh, I'd love to get your input on it. I'd love to have feedback, so please message me. We're in the process of actually adding uh, unit costs to these things so you can basically build your estimate as you're I adding items. Uh, one cool thing, let me just show you one more quick thing. Let me take an uh, example of this laundry room. Okay, I'm going to go to the main level and I'm going to add a space and we're going to call that laundry. We've got a drop down of common rooms. I'm going to, I can either use a rectangle tool or a polyline tool. I'm going to keep with the rectangle tool, tool and boom apply. So it's 65 square feet for that laundry room. So what I can do is I can actually add items for this bathroom from a list. So it's like virtual items. So in this laundry room, I've got tile that needs to go in there, uh, paint color I need, and I've got some, I've got cabinets, a countertop, I've got a sink, a faucet, some hardware, maybe a backsplash, plumbing. I don't have uh, any additional plumbing that I haven't covered here. Lighting, I'm just gonna be probably doing can lights in there, nothing special. Appliances, I have a washer and a dryer, okay? And that's it for there. So I'm going to add those items, and now you can see I've got a placeholder for all those elements in there, for all those products that are gonna go in there. Then I can start, um, as I'm building it, I can start adding my products into there. So, uh, very cool feature. But anyways, I would love for your feedback on this, because in my, idea with this is that once you're adding all these products in, you're getting a real-time uh, estimate based off your standard product. So you're not just making up a number. As you set up this project, maybe it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to set up a project by tracing all those rooms and adding all the products, but you're going to have a, a great way of tracking the progress on your project. So thanks for watching. I hope to hear back from you uh, for some feedback. Thank you.